You know, most of us think that we know everything there is to know about water because it's the simplest molecule and it's been studied for years and therefore everybody assumes that everything about water is known, but it's absolutely not true. And what we discovered uh, that's in a recent book called The Fourth Phase of Water is that there really is a fourth phase of water. This had been suggested a hundred years ago by a, an eminent uh, colloid chemist and, but people recently, you know, the, with the resurgence of interest in molecular biology, water is out of the picture. But water is definitely in the picture. And, and that's part of the reason for organizing this conference. We've put together this meeting on the physics, chemistry, and biology of water. This time it's in Bulgaria. It makes total sense to have a meeting on water here because Bulgaria has something like 40% of all the mineral waters in all of Europe. So uh, the, the concept of water and health is a concept that runs strong at this meeting. So it's natural to have a water conference in a place that has the water. It's the dissemination of knowledge. We invite people who have really interesting things, interesting evidence, uh, data, ideas on water. You know, water is a subject that uh, hasn't really been deeply studied. It was studied a half century ago. Everybody knew that water was of central importance for all of science, especially for uh, health. And that's been forgotten. There were a couple of debacles that took place. One of them is known as uh, poly water. And 20 years later, another one that was known as water memory. And there were some incidents that took place that uh, made it look as though the people who had espoused these ideas were crazy, were nuts, and were not really doing cogent science. And, and so it put off a lot of researchers who had been interested in studying water for fear that they might inspire another similar debacle. When I got my PhD, there was a professor who said to me, gave me some advice. He said, you can study anything in your career, but don't study water because water is really dangerous. You'll get yourself in trouble. I had no interest in water at the time and I had no clue why he said it, but it was so out of context that I remember all these years what he said. And so, crazy guy, I immersed myself in water uh, about a decade and, and a half ago. And it turns out that there's so much to learn about water and the properties of water. And the conference is here to, to disseminate that kind of information. We learn from, from one another. Uh, you know, it's really difficult to know what's going on in some places in the world. Some, some research is obscure. It's published in journals that other people may read, but you, you know, water, water's everywhere. So there might be a journal in an agricultural paper and you might be a physicist and you have no idea that an interesting paper has appeared that's relevant to their interests that appear in a journal in another discipline. The attendance of the meeting uh, continues to increase as uh, people learn that there are so many new findings on water. It attracts people to come to the meeting.